Welcome to Vionic Studio. In today's tutorial, we'll be seeing how to create a skybox for your Unity game using NVIDIA Canvas. NVIDIA Canvas was launched like two years back and when NVIDIA initially launched it, it had only the standard image option. In recent times, it has added the panorama option to it. So now you can create a 360 degree image and use that as skybox in your Unity game. Now to use the NVIDIA Canvas, you need to have an NVIDIA RTX GPU with at least 6 GB for panorama and 4 GB for standard image. And since we are going to create a panorama image, we need 6 GB of graphics card. And if you have multiple NVIDIA applications already running, then you might want to close that before starting the NVIDIA canvas. So this will be the startup page and make sure you select panorama and click on continue. So if you don't have enough memory, you will get an error like this. GPU does not have enough memory available. Now once you selected the panorama option, you will see a window like this. So this is your segmentation window, the one on the top. So here you can basically say which part of your image contains what. Like you can select materials from here, sky material, cloud material, hills, mountains, water. Just select the material and paint the color over here in the draw area. And NVIDIA will generate an equivalent 360 degree image here. So this is your flat preview. And the window on the right here is the 3D preview. So you can just click on it and see a 360 degree view of it. In the bottom, you also have variations. So these are just reference images to take the color palette from. So you can add your own style here. So if you have an image for reference, you can just add the image there. And depending on that image color palette, the final image will be rendered. So let's make a skybox. So by default, NVIDIA has filled half of the top with the sky and the bottom with the grass. Now we'll try to draw a land covered with forest with a grassland in between and a night sky in the top. So since we're going to go with the night sky, let's just select the night sky layout here. Now in the bottom part, which will be our center, we're going to have grasses. So we're going to take this and increase the brush size and start painting. Now remember that this image will be stitched for creating a 360 degree view. So the starting place and the ending place should match at least by a little bit so that when stitching there is no glitch. So you can just paint it like this or you can use the fill tool here. You can just click on the fill tool and then just click here and it will fill the whole area with grass. So you can see a preview here, it is creating a preview. So if that is not very clear to you, you can use the 360 degree view here. Okay, so now we have the grass. Now the top layer, which was already covered with grass, we want that to be forest. So let's select trees or forest and let's fill it up with forest. So depending on your graphics memory available, this might be fast or slow. So here, we can see some forest here. Now we can also add some water here or some hills here. So I'll just go to mountains and I'll use the brush tool and I'll paint mountains here. Okay, I'll make it a little irregular. Okay, so NVIDIA creates mountains here. So this is a 360 degree view of what we have created. So you can go ahead and play around with this. You can add some clouds here like this. So there are some clouds. I'll add some more clouds here. So once you're satisfied with what you're seeing, just click on export button here and make sure you select .exr. So Unity supports .exr files. So I'll just save it here. Tutorial Skybox. Now once you're done, you can just close the NVIDIA app. If you want to do further changes, you can just save this as a dot canvas file. So you can just open it and start editing. So I'm, I don't need it. I'm just going to discard the changes and I can come back to Unity. Here, first I need to import that image. So I'll go to my skybox and this was the tutorial skybox image that I created. And I'll import that Unity. As you can see, Unity recognizes the 360 degree panorama image that we created. And here, make sure you uncheck generate map maps. If map maps are generated, then you might see a line where the edges are stitched. So we don't want that. So make sure you uncheck generate map maps. And wrap mode is set to repeat. 
Now to use the skybox, you need a skybox material. So for that, just, just right click on the project window, go to create and material. So this will create a new material for you. And under shader, make sure you select skybox and panoramic. Then you can just drag and drop your new image, whatever you created onto the spherical HDR property. So this is the new skybox that we created. So as you can see, the image is not very high quality. That's because NVIDIA is currently capable of creating only an image of 2048 cross 1024. It does not have an option to go for high resolution image. But since we're going to use it as a skybox, we don't require a high resolution image. We'll be having a scene view here. So since we like something like a 3D object plane, and we can increase the size by like 100 in the X and 100 in the Z. So that will be covering and most of the time our camera will be looking something like this. So it doesn't matter if the hills are very clear or not. Now, as soon as you add your material here, you might not see the skybox in your scene. So for that, you have to go to window, rendering, lighting, and go to environment. And here, just drag your skybox material onto the skybox material property. Then you should see the skybox in your scene. So that's it. Go ahead and create different types of skyboxes. We'll see in the next tutorial.